Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today I am so excited because next week I'm going to see Marina and the Diamonds, oh my god I can't wait. I'm going to see her at the Neon Nature tour which is her current tour that she's got at the moment for her album Fruit and I know she's done like the American part of the tour at the moment and then she's moving over to Europe but oh my god I just can't wait. It is so close now. I've never seen her live before, she's one of my favourite artists of all time. I just absolutely can't wait so I just wanted to talk about Marina in this video today. So to begin with I'm going to do a rundown of my top favourite 20 Marina songs and she has three albums out at the moment and that is The Family Jewels, Electra Heart and Fruit. I'm just going to do a quick rundown from 20 to 11 because I don't want it to be too long and these songs can kind of like merge into being like all like one of my favourites. I mean it's hard to place them as a certain number because they're all so brilliant and different in different ways because the three albums are so different. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. So number 20 is Hippocrates from Electra Heart and this is such a great song. It's so like stripped back and slow but dark. I mean the whole theme throughout the album is kind of like dark electronic dance which I really love. Number 19 is Radioactive and this was the first song that she released from Electra Heart as the promo single and she has like the blonde hair in the video and everything. And I love of the big dance grind bit at the end it's just brilliant and number 18 is forget from fruit and I love this song it's got all like the great guitars and the instruments and everything it's kind of like a pop rock song which is kind of like her niche in a sense like she does different quirky things but I think she does enjoy doing like the rock side of it as well the video is brilliant as well I love how she's got like the black outfit on one side of the video then the other half it's like white and it's so like upbeat and different and stuff but she's got like brilliant hair in both parts of it as well I love her hair in that video Number 17 is Savages from Fruit and when I first heard this I thought wow this is some like new level brilliance that I've never heard before. I just love the sort of message that she gives in this video. It's brilliant. You've got to go listen to it. It's just so much fun and I love the music and everything. It's just brilliant. Number 16 is the opening track from Electra Heart, Bubblegum Bitch and this is such a quick sort of intro to the album. It's only about two minutes long. It's such a sort of like bang. This is who I am. This is where we're going with this album. It's such a brilliant and you can imagine by the name of the song Bubblegum Bitch and it basically is just a lot of shouting and craziness and it's just brilliant. I love the song. Number 15 is Homewrecker from Electra Heart and I remember hearing this quite early on from the album. It was one of the first songs that really stuck with me and I just think it's brilliant. I love the sort of vocals that she gives. It's like that dark sort of like different type of vibe that she's got. And I love the bit at the end where she does like the talky bit. It's just so like, screw you, this is like, whatever, just whatever. Number 14 is Better Than That from Fruit and when I first heard this I just thought, oh my god, this album has definitely stepped it up a lot. I mean, I love the vocals in the song like it's just so fun and quirky I love the little reference to fruit in the song as well it's just brilliant it's so fun oh such a great song and number 13 we have blue from fruit and this is one of the singles from the album and it's just so fun and like it's kind of got a story as if to say like I don't want to be sad anymore but it's kind of upbeat at the same time it's really weird like I just love listening to it and the video is really cool they're kind of like at a fairground the dance moves that she comes out with at the end it's just so much fun I really do like this song at number 12 we have Rootless from The Family Jewels and listening to this album for me I didn't really listen to it much when I first got it back in the day kind of like just listened to the singles and then obviously got Electra Heart and realised how brilliant Marina is and so I've kind of just recently gone back to listen to the full album and some of the songs I mean I can't believe I didn't hear these until now but Rootless is one of them and I just think it's so stripped back and slow and I just love just the way that it sounds, she has such a different voice in the first album. It's so much more quirky and fun and young and like carefree kind of thing. But at the same time, that's kind of good because it does show that there's different styles between the three albums and she's kind of progressed as an artist, which I really love. So for number 11, we have Sexy Air from Electra Heart. And this is another song where I just didn't really listen to it to begin with, but then I suddenly heard it and thought oh my god it's so good and, and I just love the instruments in it it's so like in your face it's brilliant I love the message that she's trying to give in this song as well it's brilliant it's obviously all about like girl power and like empowering women and stuff like that which is just brilliant okay so we are now into the top 10 and to start us off at number 10 we have I am not a robot from the family jewels and this is a song that I heard about a year ago two years ago and it's just stuck with me for that long and I just love it I love the lyrics and it kind of describes part of me and I love how a lot of marina songs does that and it kind of like relates to me as a person and that's probably why I really like it. I don't know, just go listen to the song because it is so brilliant, I really do like it. Has to be in the top 10, definitely. And number nine, we have the ultra retro disco vibe song, Fruit, and this is so fun and quirky and just dancey and everything. It's kind of like what the album's sort of the theme is about and everything. And it's just so fun and you just have to dance to it and everything. It's not like too serious or anything like that. And it's just, oh, Fruit, just, just go listen to it. Brilliant. And number eight, we have everybody's favorite, How To Be A Heartbreaker. And this is such a brilliant song and 
it's so big everywhere because she released it on the American version of Electra Heart, but we didn't get it here in the UK, but it's just so brilliant and I love the song. It's so fun and quirky. The, the lyrics are just like, you know what, like, it basically is How to Be a Heartbreaker, like, the title of the song. It's like, this is the set of rules that you gotta do if you wanna get a guy and be in charge, etc. So it's just brilliant. And the video kind of shows that as well. I mean, just go watch the video. I'm not even gonna talk about it, but yeah, oh my god. And it definitely gets the whole crowd going as well when I've watched her perform on the festivals and stuff that she did over the summer. And number seven, we are sticking with Electra Heart and we have The State of Dreaming. And this is one of my favourite songs from the album. I really do like it. When I first heard it, I thought, wow, it's so different and brilliant. You've just got to listen to it. And it starts off really slow and you think it's going to be one of these like really big slow songs. And it, it is like a ballad type song, but it comes in with like a nice beat as well. And I just absolutely love it. It really does resonate with me as a person because listening to the lyrics, it's like... Have you been writing this album about me? Because the whole of the Electra Heart album is just like me, 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 just this is all me? Like how did you know to write this whole album about me? I mean, I don't know, but the, the song and the lyrics in the song are just, I love it. So for number six and five we have Ono and Hollywood from The Family Jewels and I've kind of clumped these together as like a joint fifth place in a way because this is where it all started for me with Marina. I first heard her in both of these songs, I can't really remember which one it was first, it might have been Hollywood but it was both around the same time and I just absolutely love both of the songs. I thought wow who is this really cool, quirky, fun girl and I'm like oh my god she's brilliant I've got to listen to it. I mean Hollywood is such a standout song like it's obviously kind of what made her really big to begin with from the first album. And, and then Oh No was so fun and quirky, yet yeah, another song that she wrote about me, obviously, because the lyrics are just so fun and brilliant. I just absolutely love both of these songs, seriously, they're just brilliant and such a great way for her to start her career as well because it just shows this is what she's going to be like and then obviously progress and different things and it's just brilliant. So on to number four, we have my favourite song from The Family Jewels and that is Obsessions and I've only recently heard this in the last six months to a year and I don't know how I didn't hear it until now but it suddenly became my absolute favourite from the album, one of my favourite, well, number four of my Marina songs of all time and it's just so brilliant. I mean, with the struggles that I go through, I listen to the lyrics and think, oh my god, like, you just hit the nail on the head, seriously, like, I mean, it's hard to understand if you don't have any problems, but even just go listen to the song and it's just such a sort of sad, tells the story and I absolutely just love it. I mean, a lot of people have obsessions over different things in life, so you will understand it, but it just struck something in me and I absolutely love this song. I really hope she performs it at the tour as well. So we're in the top three now and this is when it gets brilliant because, oh, oh my god, seriously, like her voice, just wow, how does she do these things? So number three we have Prima Donna from Electra Heart and this is the lead single from the album and it's basic. it went to number one, that whole album went to number one, it was brilliant, this is kind of what made it really, really big back in 2012 and it basically shows the whole theme of the album, it's like this big dance electronic vibe and I love the song, I love the lyrics, it's so fun and quirky, it's like, you know what, I'm a Prima Donna girl, what's the problem? just get over it like let me just do me and be myself and be an absolute bitch to everyone and we'll all get on fine yeah it's quite funny I just yeah oh my god the video is really fun as well she's got like the electro heart hair throughout the whole of that era as well and it's just really fun she's in the house and different things so number two is my favorite song from electro heart and this is power on control and when I first heard the album I thought oh my god like, even on one listen I thought this song is amazing it has to be a single I need a video for this in my life and she released it as a single and it just didn't do too well in the charts and I thought fair enough like obviously after prima donna you know it's not going to do it as brilliantly as that but I don't know I was just like this is such a good song, everybody listen to it please. Her vocals are on point, I mean I just love what she does with her voice, I don't understand it but whatever. And the music and everything, and obviously the story as well, it's basically like in a relationship like a man and a woman or whatever and who has the most power and you just gotta watch the video, it's so much fun and brilliant. I love the whole back and forward thing in the video between the man and the woman and it's like who's in charge and that sort of thing, it's just brilliant. So we've gone through 19 of Marina songs and now we are left with just one song and if you haven't guessed already what absolute brilliance this song is. Number one is I'm a Ruin from Fruit and I don't know whether this was an actual single or a promo single but it has a video and it's brilliant and I just words can't describe the song. I mean seriously the music in it is just brilliant. It's like this big ballad song with a great beat to it and her vocals are just brilliant and the lyrics and just everything put together makes like this amazing song. It went straight to the top of my favourite songs of the year so far and I just absolutely love it. Like seriously when I first heard it I thought oh my god like I know for a fact that she's going to perform this at the tour, I absolutely can't wait, it's going to be amazing like, because she's got like the live acoustic version that she did as well in this music video for that and you just have to listen to it, I mean, oh my god, like seriously, like, 
how does she do these things? Like, originally after Electro Heart Power and Control was my favourite Marina song, and then I thought nothing's going to top this. But it's almost like a sequel to that song, the way that it, it sounds like similar in that sort of ballad -y sense, and it's just brilliant. And it is my absolute favourite Marina song, and you just got to go listen to it seriously. Like, even if you're not a massive fan of that, like, it's just amazing if you're into like that sort of dark ballads like just sort of like slow emotional type songs it's just absolutely amazing so there we have it that is my top 20 favorite marina songs of all time but i just want to quickly give a shout out to a couple of other songs she did just desserts with charlie xcx a few years ago and that is a really fun quirky song and they have such similar voices you, you can't even tell which is which in the song i really wish they did a music video as well it would have been so brilliant but that was actually the first time i heard of charlie xcx and obviously she's got quite big in the last sort of 12 months also as part of electro heart she released a song for valentine's day called called Evil or E-V-O-L and it's like it's quite a sort of shortened song it's not like really long but it's just really cool and you should just go listen to that as well. So in terms of the Neon Nature tour she started it in America already like I said but I haven't actually seen anything about it I don't want to know anything outfits set list or anything I don't know what song she's going to perform or anything so I just want to do a little bit of speculation before I actually go and see her next week Oh my god, I can't wait. Brief spoiler though, in case anyone doesn't want to hear this, I did hear that she's going to be doing three acts of the tour, and it's going to be basically for the three albums, The Family Jewels, and then Electro Heart, and then Fruit. Or I imagine it's going to be in that order anyway. And because it's not like a massive arena tour, I imagine she's going to be doing somewhere between sort of like 12 and 15 songs. So that's about four or five each from each album. And so if we start with The Family Jewels, I really want her to do obviously like Hollywood and Oh No, the two main singles. And then the other songs that I really want her to do is definitely Obsessions and I'm Not a Robot. I imagine she will do them because she did I'm Not a Robot at some of the festivals over the summer so that's just amazing and that's just some of my speculation that I think and then for the middle for Electra Heart I reckon she'll definitely do Prima Donna hopefully Power and Control because I really want to hear that live How It Would Be a Heartbreaker definitely because that's one of the big songs and it's just so cool to think that she's going to actually perform some of the album tracks hopefully from these albums because Electra Heart is my favourite album out of the three and I love the album tracks. So say if she did some album tracks like The State of Dreaming or Hippocrates or Homewreck or something like that, it would be really cool just to be able to hear them as well because I didn't get to go to the Lonely Hearts tour for the Electro Heart album. And finally, I imagine she's going to end the concert with Fruit and I imagine she'll probably do more songs off this than the other albums. And obviously she'll do Fruit, I'm a Ruin, it's such a massive song. Seriously, she could just do any of the songs from this album and I'll be so happy. She's probably going to do Blue and Forget because they're quite big crowd pleasers. It'd be really fun if she did Can't Bend Me Down as well because that's quite a fun, quirky song. And I think also because she has quite a mixture of ballads and upbeat songs from this album I think she'll probably do either Happy or Immortal one or the other, I'm not too sure but it'll be like a big emotional ballad type moment when she does that but like I said I haven't heard anything about the tour yet I don't want to know anything, the set list or anything I don't want any spoilers so when I get to see it it'll be such a big surprise and amazing I can't wait but hopefully she does the songs that I've mentioned especially I'm a Ruin and Power on Control because if she does them I'll just be so happy and dead but yeah oh my god I'm so excited for the tour now it's next week it's so close like I just can't wait to see it and hear her live it's going to be amazing like oh my god because it's in quite a small place as well it's not like a massive arena it'll just be weird being like so close to her as well oh I just can't wait I hope you guys are as much of a big fan of Marina's as I am and I'm so excited for the tour as well. I hope you guys get to go see her as well and just let me know in the comments below if you've already seen it or what you thought of it or how brilliant it was or what you think of the albums and the different songs and what's your favourite songs out of the three albums that she's done. Maybe it's not I'm Maroon, maybe your favourite something else like Prima Donna or something. It'd be cool and interesting to hear that. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I post videos every Wednesday, so subscribe if you don't want to miss any of them. And thank you guys for watching. I'm off to the Neon Nature Tour now. Okay, so bye.